This is the Career Development Center in the St. Clair building on Del Mar College East Campus. They offer career and planning employment services for students and alumni. They provide a one-point contact to expedite recruiting efforts of companies and organizations. This is just another example of the outstanding services available at Del Mar now. I am Amy Mintz, Associate Professor of Child Development at Del Mar College. Today we'll meet the Director of the Department of Adult Education and Literacy at Del Mar College. Rachel Benavides will explain about the GED, ABE, and ESL classes. We'll also learn more about the Career Development Center from Vanessa Atkins. She's the Career Development Coordinator from the Center. There's lots of important and useful information coming up. Don't go away. This is Del Mar Now. is the Director of the Adult Education and Literacy Department at Del Mar College. She joined the college within the last six months. Prior to Del Mar, she served as the Education and Employment Coordinator for Corpus Christi Housing Authority and later as their Vice President of Resident Services. She has her Master's of Arts in Administration and a Bachelor's Degree in Administration from both University of Incarnate Ward. She has an Associate's Degree in Human Sciences from Del Mar College and is also a proud graduate of the GED program as well. Please welcome Rachel Benavides. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you have a lot of programs under your division. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, so the Adult Education Literacy Department. So let's talk about the most common one, the GED. Yes, ma'am. What does GED stand for? Uh, it's your General uh, Equivalency Diploma oh. or General Equivalency Development. Okay. It just depends. Okay. Um, but most people know it as a diploma, and so it's your high school completion. Okay, and what could that do for someone? Oh, it can open many doors for them. Um, it allows them access to uh, secondary education if they want to enroll in college, if they want to uh, pursue a career. They Most employers nowadays require that you have your high school uh, diploma or your GED. Very true. So it opens a lot of doors for them. Okay, um, so the GED, one program. Another program under the Department of Adult Education and Literacy is the ABE. Not right. as popular an acronym right. as the GED. Can you right. tell us a little bit about that? Uh, not as popular, but just as important. It's adult basic education. Okay. So oftentimes we have individuals uh, who just need workplace literacy. It, it's a literacy component of the GED program and it's to help parents who may want to communicate with their students who are now enrolled in public schools. Uh, for individuals who are working and need to have basic communication skills with their employers or with their customers, it, it takes them to a very basic English level so that they, they're able to communicate effectively with the community. Okay, so focusing just on that core part of communications yes, and literacy. Yes, ma'am. Um, but they can use this in a variety of different avenues, whether it's business or even in their home. Absolutely. Okay, well that sounds very important. And then the last program, the ESL program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what are ESL classes and, and why would someone take those classes versus maybe a regular English literacy class? So English as a second language, um, oftentimes we have many uh, individuals who are in our community who do not speak English. And so these ESL classes are set up to help those individuals, professionals or homemakers, uh, who English is their second language. And so these classes allow them for the ability to learn English in reading and written form. And typically the ESL student prog progresses to the GED. Okay. They want to continue their, their education. They're looking to advance um, because these individuals will look at the GED and then they'll look at post-secondary. Um, whereas the adult basic education uh, group is just kind of learning to communicate. The ESL students want to come and they want to progress and they want to be successful in what they do. And okay. so English as a secondary language is a very complimentary program. Um, we have a, a big group of individuals in our community who are interested in doing that. What if I have a high school diploma maybe from another country mm -hmm. or another state, but I still need these ESL classes? Absolutely. A big portion of our uh, ESL group are professionals. We actually have people not only with high school diplomas, but with their degrees in other countries. Okay. And so we actually have uh, medical physicians, we have attorneys, engineers who come in and who need to learn our language so that they can then have the ability to um, explore the workplace here in, in the United States. Okay, so I don't need to have 
no prior education. I can come in right. with an advanced degree already, but I yes. still need to strengthen my English skills. Yes. Now, I presume a lot of students coming in, um, learners coming in, are maybe Spanish is another language, but that's not necessarily the case, That's right? not the only culture that we serve. There's a huge um, Thai uh, culture. There's a huge um, Asian culture that we serve. Um, we have a lot from the Dominican Republic. So the, it, it's just a, a, a diverse group of individuals. Okay. It's not just Spanish anymore. Okay, so everyone welcome, yes. learning, wanting those ESLs. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so we've talked a lot about different classes. Where can someone go get take these classes? Where are they held? Uh, the beauty of Del Mar College is that we offer multiple campuses. So we've got uh, classes at the West Campus, the East Campus, here at CED. We've also expanded under um, the GED grant that we have uh, to the Alice community and to the sur surrounding 11 uh, counties uh, that Del Mar serves. Oh, that's fabulous. Mm -hmm. So someone doesn't necessarily have to commute into Corpus. No. We could tap into some local campuses, satellite campuses outside the region. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. How much do these classes cost? They're free of charge. How is that possible? Because, <laughs> um, as I stated, um, the GED program is actually funded by the Texas Workforce Commission. We uh, Del Mar receives a grant to serve those 11 counties and so making it possible to uh, for these families in those areas to have access to the programs so if you're not in Nueces County you can search a satellite uh, office out in Sinton, San Pat, Alice, Falfurias. We, we serve a large region here uh, in, the, in the area. Thank you. That's great. Um, well, let's talk about an adult maybe who's coming back to school after many years, um, and they want to get enrolled in these GED classes. I know some people are a little hesitant of, I don't know what yes. to do. I don't know how to get started. What is the first step? The first step is to make that decision, to make that change in your life, and to show up at our front door. We are a non-judgment zone. We welcome everyone. Our oldest student is 71. Wow. Our youngest student is 16. It's never too late to make that decision. You should not hesitate. Um, it, again, it's a no-judgment zone, free of charge. We welcome you at the front door, and uh, we will be there to help you along every step of the way. Is there an orientation process, or do the, I need to sign up ahead of time for something? There is an orientation process. Um, it's staggered throughout the area, so the best thing to do is to contact us at, at our uh, local number. Okay. Um, we well, talked about different locations. What about different times? Sometimes students mm -hmm. say, I just, I can't make it at these times. Mm -hmm. You know, I work during the daytime, or I'm taking care of children during the daytime. Um, what, what options do uh, these learners have? And we understand that because most of our uh, GED participants and ESL participants um, usually work. <laughs> um, work is a priority. They need to, to be able to st sustain their families. So we do offer classes from 9 to 12, Monday through Thursday. Uh, we also offer classes from 6 to 9, Monday through Thursday. Um, and for those who are pursuing a career pathway as well as their GED, we even offer Saturday classes for them. Okay. So, are, are these all face-to-face -face classes? Yes, I know Del Mar is very, you know, we go in different directions on how we teach, so mm -hmm. these would be face-to-face -face classes, I presume? Uh, yes, many of them are face-to-face, -face, but we do offer a distance learning uh, program for those who are not able to come into to the face-to-face. -face. So Career Pathways program is also under your area. Can yes. you tell us a little bit more about that? That is an amazing program. Um, the idea is for the GED graduate or the GED student to not just study and learn um, their uh, general equivalency skills, but to also earn a work skill. And so the students that are in the program will have the opportunity once they reach a certain level of performance <coughs> um, to enroll in one of our career pathways. And we have various um, different ones available uh, for, for whatever interest they have. And it, again, it's all free <coughs> of charge. Well, that, you can't beat the free price, you actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you've talked a lot about different classes, different locations, different times being offered. Where can people get more information? How can they sign up? Where do I go? What website do I go to? <laughs> you can go to delmar.edu, uh, GED classes. Our local number is 361-698-1758. Um, and also, uh, they can show up at any one of the student centers and ask for the GED program and they'll be able to help them there. Can they call that number also if maybe they want the Fafurius campus and maybe they can yes. they get the local phone number for yes, that? Yes, that, that is our main hotline. And okay. so if they're calling for Falfurias or for Refugio, any of those, we will redirect them to that, okay. to that local line. Perfect, good to know. Thank well, you. thanks for sharing such great information with us. Thank you so much for having me. We're taking a quick break, but we'll return and meet the Del Mar Now College Career Development Coordinator from the Career Development Center. Stay with us.
Are you adventurous, a real thrill seeker? Join Del Mar College Foundation's Over the Edge fundraiser to support student scholarships. Raise funds from family, friends, and colleagues through social media to earn the opportunity to rappel down 20 stories of a Bayfront hotel October 21st. Learn more at www.delmar.edu slash foundation or call 698-1317. Be one of Corpus Christi's first downtown rappellers and go over the edge to support Del Mar College student scholarships. You'll have the thrill of a lifetime. Catch the Viking spirit. Nationally recognized and locally focused, Del Mar College has been delivering dreams for over 75 years. If Del Mar College has touched your life, join the Vikings Alumni Association and help others achieve their dreams. Stay connected. Support scholarships. Explore the Viking Career Network. Join online today at delmar.edu slash alumni for as little as $10 and get a free t-shirt. Show your Viking pride. Del Mar College Natural Sciences Department provides students with world-class opportunities. Ranging from competing nationally against Ivy League University students to conducting graduate student level research at well-respected laboratories across the United States. Biotechnology student John Ephraimides excels in the college's collaboration with the Howard Hughes Medical Institute's CPages project. There's all these opportunities. I came to Del Mar to do my prerequisites, like I mentioned, and I ended up with this wonderful opportunity to go to a national laboratory. This is something maybe one in a hundred, maybe a thousand people get to do, and I was picked because of my preparation from here. I had stellar recommendations, and I was ready for it. And when I went, I had the experience of a lifetime when I was there. Remedius's independent research on bacteriophages, or viruses that live on and attack bacteria, earned him first place in the Cellular and Molecular Biology Student Poster Category at the 2016 American Association for the Advancement of Science competition. He also presented during the First World Congress on Undergraduate Research in Qatar in November 2016, alongside 150 undergraduate students from around the world and 62 Qatar University students. Ramitas plans to pursue both a PhD and medical degree after completing studies at Del Mar College. Life is full of bittersweet transitions. Sometimes these changes can hit harder than expected and may contribute to feelings of hopelessness. We've got this, Dad. Or even thoughts of suicide. Support from friends and family can make a big difference to a veteran going through a difficult time. You good, sir? Together, our actions could help save a life. I got this. Learn more at VeteransCrisisLine.net. Del Mar College delivers dreams. If you're thinking about attending Del Mar College, we offer certificates and associate's degrees in over 200 occupational fields. Employment opportunities in the healthcare industry keep increasing, including positions for surgical technologists. Do you want to become part of a surgical team? At Del Mar College, you'll acquire the skills and knowledge of a surgical technologist by learning about anatomy and physiology, microbiology and pathology, along with surgical aseptic technique and application and surgical procedures. The college provides one and two year training for this high demand position through the Allied Health Department. In fact, we're the only program within a 120 mile radius in the coastal bend. If you get accepted into the program, you spend that year pretty intensively here in the labs at the beginning, and then about eight or nine months out of the year, we will be out at surgical suites around town, different hospitals. Surgical technology instruction includes lectures, basic skills and safety training in the program's high-tech labs on campus, including setting up and working within a sterile field and instrumentation used in the operating room. You'll train in the best possible surroundings, so you're comfortable when you move to the OR for advanced clinicals. This is a great program if you want hands-on, exciting, there's, there's never a dull moment. Uh, you're working right along the surgeons, um, and the medical staff is always terrific. You know, you get experience at all the hospitals in Corpus, and it's, it's awesome. Surgical technology training covers every surgical specialty, and our hands-on training occurs in the operating rooms located among 10 local hospitals. The program holds clinicals where the job offers are located, 
So you'll not only get to know future coworkers while training for this high demand career, they'll also know you when the time comes for you to apply for that position. The pay for new certified surgical technologists ranges from $13 to $18 per hour, depending on the hospital where graduates begin work. One thing about the surgical technology program is it's really geared for both men and women, especially in the specialties. And of course, you get the babies. You know, a lot of females want to do that. You get the orthopedic stuff with the hammers and the saws, and of course, a lot of men want to do that one. There's no really advantage to being a male or female in this program. Um, it's great for everyone. You can help out the same way. Um, you do a lot of the same things. So it, it's really a great program for both male and female. Employers' demand for surgical technicians is good locally and very strong statewide. Start your training toward a rewarding and well-paying career in this field. Learn more about Del Mar College's Surgical Technology Program by visiting www.delmar.edu or calling 361-698-2820. Del Mar College. Dreams delivered. Dream of earning a great salary with excellent benefits? Del Mar College can get you where you want to go. Drivers are in huge demand. And with our transportation training services, you can earn a commercial driver's license in as little as three weeks. So drive your own success and get the license that puts you behind the wheel. Learn more at delmar.edu slash trucking. For more information about Del Mar Now, log on to www.delmar.edu slash now. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions to help us improve Del Mar Now, send an email to now at delmar.edu. Our next guest is the Career Development Coordinator with Del Mar College Career Development Center. She joined the college staff in August 2015. She has an associate's degree from Coastal Bend College. She earned her bachelor's degree in mass communications with a minor in public relations and a master's degree in mass communications with an emphasis on instructional communication, both from Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Please welcome to Del Mar Now, Vanessa Atkins. Hi, Vanessa, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so you are part of the Career Development Center. Tell us a little bit about the, this center and what its mission is. Why, what's it there for? <laughs> We're a career planning and employment services center. So okay. we offer a quiet bit of, of array of services to students. We offer um, students of all classifications, all majors, um, basically job readiness and uh, career services skills to make sure that they're um, definitely prepared to go off uh, and do something productive after Del Mar Yes, College. that's important. <laughs> Put the degree to use, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, well, sometimes first-time college students don't know exactly what they want to study, but your center can help with that. Yes, definitely. And we meet with first-time college students in a different array of, of uh, scenarios when they're here at Del Mar College. We meet with them in, in freshman orientation. We okay. actually get to know them, we get an hour presentation with them to where we explain to them, it's not uncommon for you to change your major throughout your stay here at Del Mar. It's not. <laughs> Did it plenty of times. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's not uncommon for you not to know what occupations are involved within your major. So we definitely try to encourage students and educate them on why it's so important to choose a major, to be committed to a degree plan, to know who your faculty advisor is, so that way we can ensure their uh, successfulness here at Del Mar College. Okay, and are these services open to any Del Mar student, um, even the, we were just talking with the GED and ESL students as well too, so yes. this is a campus resource. So our services are offered to Del Mar College students and alumni, and al the term alumni uh, is actually very broad, so students who graduated with their degree here, with their certification, can have access to our services. Okay, so even if I'm not a current Del Mar student, but if I have that degree from Del Mar College or certification, certificate, I still have access to these services. Definitely. What what we're seeing a lot of is a lot of students um, maybe that graduated from Del Mar College years ago, perhaps with a, a nursing degree, for mm -hmm. example. They come back to Del Mar College saying, okay, I really, nursing didn't really work out for me. I'm not really loving it anymore. I don't have the passion for it. 
I need to change careers. <laughs> and that's where we come in and kind of go about um, helping our alumni and assisting them and, and finding a new career to go into. Okay, well, sounds like you not only help alumni, but tell us about maybe current students who are wanting some employment. You know, it's not just limited to jobs on campus, though, is it? No, definitely not. It's We offer, uh, we actually have a job portal. It's called Hire Vikings, in which we um, encourage employers and on-campus employers here at Del Mar College to input jobs, whether it's off-campus, on-campus, professional and non-professional jobs, which basically professional is jobs that require degrees for okay. our alumni or certifications and then non-professional jobs like office assistant work, administrative assistant, um, that kind of thing. Um, but also in this job portal, we're trying to incorporate internships as well. So mm -hmm. we're very protective of our students. We want to make sure that our students have a good opportunity to work in their career field while they're coming right. to college here. It's just something extra they can put on their resume as related experience. And so we're getting more and more employers posting internships, paid internships at that on our Hire Vikings job portal. Okay, so it sounds like full-time or part-time or internships, paid internships is something that, that, that you can go through this Hire Vi uh, Viking. Well, how can employers in the community use this or how do they have access to it if they want to post a job opening? At their um, a lot of the place? times they usually go through our website. We have four easy steps to posting a jobs on, okay. on Hire Vikings. Um, we're finding it, Corpus Christi is a very small town, so um, one person knows another, they just call us up and ask us to either post a job for them or they go in and post as many jobs as they want. Um, the jobs expire whenever they want them to expire. Um, so they can post numerous of jobs and have different contacts to each company. So it's a very, very, um, needed job portal for, for us to partner employers and students. Is there a fee for employers to post these job openings? Not at all. It's absolutely free for students and employers to access it. Okay, that's free is great. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, well, you're, you're mentioning, we're talking about the uh, workforce and getting students out in the workforce, utilizing that degree. Tell us a little bit about Del Mar College's partnership with Workforce Solutions and the Career Coach Program. Yes, so we have a very unique um, partnership with Workforce Solutions in the sense that we partner uh, with them, for example, on our job fairs. So it is very important uh, for the community to know of the different resources we have at Del, at Del Mar College. So we invite the community um, to come out to our job fairs with the Workforce Solutions help advertising marketing. Um, a lot of the times, individuals from the community maybe really aren't educated or informed on what certifications, what type of education you're needing mm -hmm. uh, for these different occupations and these different fields. So um, a lot of the times when they're coming to our job fair, it's, they can hear straight from our employers, okay, this is what we're asking for, this is the skill set that we want, right. this is the type of education that we want. So we kind of hook them get in Get them that on the right way. pathway. Yes, get them on the right pathway. That's very important. So we partner on job fairs together, um, but in addition to that, we are, uh, they've let us use their software, Career Coach, which is a very, very um, enticing in the sense that it offers an array uh, of services to our students. For example, um, it has a resume builder um, on there where students can kind of go in and start building their resume. Um, it offers a template to students where they can go in and change the template um, to, you know, each time they apply for different jobs, they change the resume as, as needed. Uh -huh. um, but in addition to the resume builder, they also have different career assessments. Depending on what the student need is, depending on how lost they are, they can go in and complete these assessments. Uh, whether it's a five minute assessment or a 20 minute assessment, it kind of generates um, generates ideas on how, uh, what their skill set is, okay, um, what their personality is like, and then what occupations match that skill set, what occupations match their personality. This sounds like a great tool for those undecided majors. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or those, I want to come back to college to strengthen myself, but I don't know what to do. It really is, and it also educates them. At the end of the assessment, it kind of gives them an idea after they've answered all the questions, um, what occupations are ideal right now, what occupations are in demand, because that's, that's very important. important. You, we wanna, don't want you a want to be hired. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want a student to come to school for all these years, graduate, and guess what? Oh, your major really isn't in demand anymore. You're gonna have a really hard time finding a job, and we don't want that to happen. Well, you know, these we talked a lot about getting students jobs, and um, but you're not just a job portal, you also do other things as well too. So you, yes. you do resume help, you do interview help, because maybe the student says, you know what, I'm, this is the career pathway I want to go on, but I just want to make sure I nail this interview, or I want to make sure I nail um, this cover letter. So you offer a lot of different services. Is there a fee? 
no, one of these services? No, there isn't a fee for any of the services that we offer. Okay. Um, you know, if you were to give someone a little tip or advice when they go on that first interview, I'm sure your offices can go into a little bit more detail, but what <laughs> is one tip you could give someone who's going on that interview for the first time? Be educated on the company that you're going in and interviewing for. I think that's a huge misconception where students think that they're going in, they can answer simple questions. Tell me about yourself. Well, I got that question, you know, answered right off the bat. But then when the employer asks, well, what do you know about our company? Oh, I, don't, I really don't know anything about your very company. Very good point. And so it's very important when not only interviewing, but when you're making your resume, you need to tailor it to the company and to what the employer is asking for. Very, very good tips right there. Are you on the East Campus only, West Campus, or where can students have, or former alumni, <laughs> former <laughs> students, um, find your services? So we serve East and West, all of the different campuses, actually. Okay. Um, our uh, services or our, our offices are only on the East Campus. Um, okay. Our offices are located in the St. Clair Building, room 116E and 116F, as in Frank. Um, but we also have the Career Kiosk, which is basically a one-stop shop for students, which is on the East Campus, right next door to the bookstore um, in the Harbin Center. And in the Career Kiosk, they can get an array of different services, whether it's starting on their resume, wanting to take a career assessment, they need resume templates, hire me handbook, it's all available to them. Okay, do you need appointments to go to these, these offices? Not at all, you do not need appointments. So just come on in during business hours. Yes, come on in during business hours and we're there, somebody is there to help you. Okay, great. Well, um, thanks for chatting with us and sharing such great information about your services. Yes, thank you so much for having me. We look forward to seeing you again. If you have questions or comments about Delmar Now, send an email to now at delmar.edu. This is our final show for the season. We'll return in October to speak with more faculty, staff, and students about the things happening at Delmar College. Until then, I'm Amy Mintz for Delmar Now. Thanks for joining us.